Hi friends, how are you? By blessings of the God, you are doing well. Uh, this is Dr. Arthamundu Jana, Senior Assistant Professor, PG Department of Business Management, uh, Base of Bihar, Fakir Moib University, uh, Balas, Odisha. So once again, I am welcoming uh, to all of you to Dr. Revisiona classes. And uh, once again, on the request of my dear student friends, I have prepared this uh, very, very interesting video. And in today's class, we will discuss uh, who is the, the fathers of the different subjects like the cost accounting, uh, like the business, uh, like the uh, modern management, like the commerce, cost accounting and others. So, uh, I have uh, collected the information from the internet. If any uh, difference of the gap, uh, it is there kindly you just give your comment uh, comment so without delay we'll start our today's very very interesting um, uh, information or the data and it's also uh, very very useful and fruitful not only uh, for the general knowledge purposes but also from the uh, academic as well as career point of view okay so i have collected from the net uh, there are the nine subjects uh, sorry 19 subjects who is the father of uh, the 19 subjects and uh, the name of the fathers of uh, different subjects and the fathers so they belong to which country and what uh, what are their contributions or the achievements okay so uh, without delay we'll start our uh, most uh, most interesting um, discussion. Uh, so, first one is the name uh, and the father of uh, in which subject or this discipline, country, and the contribution or the achievement. So, first one is it is the uh, Poseidon. So, as we are the fraternity of uh, commerce and management, we have to know who is the father of uh, the different subjects or the uh, discipline sub different subjects sorry so the procedure so it is regarded as the father of the commerce and according to the great mythology the procedure uh, is the uh, sea god and uh, according to his uh, the statement the trading is the significant to the commerce as well as the business. So that's why the Poseidon is regarded as or the known as the father of the commerce. Come to the second one, the Luca Pasioli. Luca Pasioli. So Luca Pasioli is known as or regarded as the father of accounting or the double entry, uh, double entry system. And so uh, the Luca Pasioli belongs to the Italy country and uh, Luca Pasquale is an Italian mathematician and developed the methods of a bookkeeping and then the third one it's a uh, he is sorry he is the Jerome Lee Nicholson Jerome Lee Nicholson uh, uh, Jerome Lee Nicholson is regarded as the father of a cost accounting cost accounting and uh, he belongs to America and uh, so far as uh, the achievements uh, are concerned, Jerome Lee Nicholson, he is an uh, uh, accountant, inter industrial consultant and he is an the great uh, author as well as an educator. Then the Frederick W. Taylor, dear friends, you more or less you know uh, about the Frederick W. Taylor, who is known as the father of a uh, okay, scientific management. He belongs to uh, America country and the famous book, The Shock Management, the Frederick W.'s famous book is The Shock Management and uh, Frederick W. Taylor has developed the principles of uh, scientific management. Once again, I am repeating. Frederick W. Taylor is the father of scientific management. Frederick W. Frederick w. Taylor belongs to America country and the famous, okay, popular book, 
he has written it's the soft management and he has also developed the principles of a scientific management come to the fifth one uh, peter f drucker peter f drucker he is the father of modern management and also the uh, uh, peter f drucker is also known as uh, the father of business studies and if, uh, peter f drucker he is a uh, uh, he is a um, australian born american so he has uh, written the popular book the new society the end of the economic man the future of a industrial man okay so next is uh, uh, one um, the uh, he is uh, the george elton mayo george elton mayo he is uh, known as the father of or he is regarded as the father of human resource management he belongs to the australia country and he is uh, the great okay industrial researcher uh, psychologist sociologist and the management guru uh, next philip kotler philip kotler the famous book the marketing management book philip kotler is known as regarded as the father of marketing management he belongs to america country okay he is a great author consultant professor and the famous the wording given by the philip kotler so customer is the king customer is the king yes so next is that is the robert owen uh, he is regarded as uh, the um, father of uh, personal management he belongs to uk and uh, he is uh, uh, his famous wording is the good personal pays the dividend to the employer okay then the eugen fama eugen fama he is regarded as or the known as the father of financial management or the modern finance he belongs to the uh, america country and he has developed the the theory the theory is your portfolio theory asset pricing theory and the efficient market theory and he is also the very good of uh, the economist or the great uh, uh, great economist so next he, he is the ronald fisher you know more or less you know so uh, you are studying the statistics he is regarded as or the father of uh, uh, sorry the father of statistics and he belongs to uk and he has developed or contributed he has uh, contributed the principles of fundamentals of uh, statistics so that's why hmm, we are using the um, the fundamentals of uh, statistics in our day to day life also in business also in research okay next day it's a he is sorry he is carl pearson he he carl pearson is regarded as the father of uh, mathematical statistics and uh, he belongs to all also uk uh, the carl pearson has uh, carl pearson has uh, contributed the p value pearson correlation coefficient etc okay etc so next adam adam smith adam smith okay he is regarded as the father of economics he also belongs from uk and he has developed okay contributed the theory modern economic theory also he has also highlighted or given the importance of savings and the law of demand and supplies laws of demand and supplies yes next step Mm, he is the alexander hamilton alexander hamilton is regarded as known as the modern uh, father of modern banking he belongs to america okay so so far as alexander hamilton he is concerned he is, uh, he is an american statesman politician legal scholar banker as well as economist okay then uh, the solomon stephenson hubena solomon stephenson hubena he is regarded as or the father of uh, the insurance he also belongs uh, from america country okay he has uh, 
highlighted the concept of a human value and the standard of method calculating the insurance value ins insurance and the what is the need of uh, the insurance so that's why uh, that's why uh, the solomon stevenson hovenor is known as or regarded as uh, the father of uh, insurance yes then uh, um, more or less or all of us we know about the henry fell henry fell is regarded as uh, or known as the father of business administration or the man modern management theory and he belongs to uh, he belongs to france and you know administrative theory of management 14 golden principles okay regarding this administrative theory of management 14 golden principles i have already okay uh, posted one lecture so i will request to all of you kindly you watch the full video about the administrative theory of management given by the henry fell okay so henry fell has developed okay the general theory of a business administration so that's why he is regarded as the father of business administration or modern management theory okay come to okay so k the k bhaiti sir is known as the father of e-commerce and he belongs to india he belongs to india so the famous book of k bhaiti saranam uh, saram a uh, failing to succeed the story of india's e-commerce companies ha uh, and next uh, it's a uh, lawrence okay sir so lawrence sir he is regarded as or known as the father of modern uh, internal audit he belongs to america and so far as hmm, the okay mr L mr lawrence he is a great lawyer author educator accountant businessman as well as auditor okay next day, that is the uh, robot yeah tricker robot and tricker so he is the father of the corporate governance cg he belongs to uk and he is also very very expert and expertise in cg it stands for corporate governance he has also written one book on corporate governance okay so last but not the least is that in the how he is the howard rothman okay boy the howard uh, rothman boy is known as a uh, regarded as the father of uh, the corporate social responsibility or popular cs uh, corporate social responsibility he belongs to okay america country he is also the great economist okay and uh, the the form, formation of uh, boyle's law right uh, and uh, spending in higher education so uh, so these are all about today's discussion so uh, out of uh, 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 this discussion i am hopeful you have learned a lot so who is he? the father of uh, various subjects like the commerce of accounting cost accounting scientific management human resource management etc and so they belong to which country and what are their contributions of the achievements so uh, so i am requesting to all of you so if you like this uh, lecture kindly you subscribe it kindly you forward it kindly you share it so if uh, any problem with regard to the pronoun pronunciation kindly give your comment uh, kindly give your comment so once again uh, thanks a lot to all of you